key to finding effective pedagogy in regards to Indigenous students is crucial in this day and age when we talk about closing the gap and bridging the gap. To really do that properly, we need to find out what Indigenous students and families think is very important in schooling. One of the alarming conditions within Australia is there's been a lot of research in this area, but it's never taken the time to listen to what Indigenous students say about what effective teaching practices are. So this research project is taking the voices of our parents and students, giving them to the schools and letting them know exactly how they, they learn best, what practices need to, be, need to happen in our schools for positive engagement of our students and also to build that trust up again between our parents and our grandparents with, the, with our schools. One of the mandates of Catholic education is to serve, I think, what would be called the underserved, to give attention to those students and, and those people that potentially have been under, underserved by society. The region had to listen to the voices of students, especially Indigenous students and the communities they represent to determine what effective teaching was all about. My culture to me is very important because I feel like without culture then you don't know who you, tr who you truly are. The, the words that come to my mind for the, perfect, for the perfect teacher would be interactive, fun, hardworking, um, understanding. Well, I like our teachers when they're more, they're more understanding and they do at least have some, know something about you, not just another kid in the classroom. The best teacher would be a teacher that actually listens, that doesn't have favourites, and that treats all students equally. I like it when we build a more relationship, we can learn better. I do think it's important for non-Indigenous teachers to realise that one Indigenous kid may be different to the next Indigenous kid. The communication is, is really important and just to be informed on what's happening with our child throughout, throughout this, um, the year and, and just to always have that communication open. The true bottom line of anything is um, relationships and partnerships so that has got to be a holistic approach across the board and um, we've got to engage with other people as well so it's not just about us as Aboriginal people, it, it actually involves all peoples of this community and particularly education because this is the future. And I think it really values our Indigenous parents' views of education and um, sometimes I think we can be accused of ignoring that. But this research actually brings them right into the picture and teachers can actually learn from the families themselves. Everyone can benefit from this, so not only will Indigenous students benefit from it, and teachers of Indigenous students and the ramifications of the, and, and the flow-on effects from that, but I think all teachers can benefit from understanding how they apply their own pedagogy. My advice to a teacher would be, do take the time to learn about your students and you know, learn about where they're from, their history and everything, because at the end of the day it's not, it's, it's about learning, but it's also about knowing who your students are and how you can help them to learn and become a better person. This research will not truly be over until we have actually made a pedagogy of difference to Indigenous students and communities across Australia.